Microsoft Word 2010 File Management. To create a new Word document, select the File tab from your ribbon. Then select New. You'll now have access to some templates. Templates are documents that have been created by somebody else that you can just customize. So you can select one of these templates or you could opt to create a blank document by selecting the Create Command button. If you would like to open a document that you saved previously, select the File tab from your ribbon, then select Open. This will open your Windows Explorer. You'll now need to navigate to the correct folder where you saved your work. Once you've found the document, select the document and then select the Open command to open up the document. If you would like to save changes to your document, you can do this by selecting the Save option or Command button on your Quick Access toolbar or you could select the Save option from your File tab. If you would like to save the document under a new name or in a new location, you can do this by selecting the Save As option. This will open up your Windows Explorer again and here you can navigate to where you would like to save the document. Once you've done that, remember to select the Save Command button. To print a document, Select the File tab from the ribbon and then select Print. You'll notice on the right hand side of your screen you have a live preview of what your printout will look like. In the middle section of your screen you've got various settings that you can change. For instance, you can select which printer you want to print to, exactly what you would like to print in terms of pages or pa separate page numbers, whether you would like to print on one side or both sides of the page. You can also select whether you want your printouts to be collated. You can change the orientation of your document. You can change the size of the paper that you would like to print on. You can change your margins. And you can also select to print more than one page per sheet. Once you've changed all these settings, you can go back up to the top and you can specify how many copies of the document you would like to print. The last step is to select the Print Command button and this will print your document to an output printer. And that concludes our lesson on Word 2010 File Management.